hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel being engineer in this video we will discuss about the most important engineering material that is glass in this video we are going to discuss the history of a glass that is how glass was the term glass was originated and introduction of a glass what are the constituents and their function what are the properties of glass how glass is manufactured and what are the different types of glass and what are the uses or you can say advantages and disadvantages of a glass but before we start our today's topic if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates so let's start our today's topic First of all history the history of creating glass can be traced back to 3500 BCE in Mesopotamia the term glass developed in the late Roman Empire Mesopotamia as you can see over here presently it is called as Iraq it is a Muslim country and Muslim has contributed too much to the science and engineering the term glass developed in the late Roman Empire it was in the Roman glass making center at Trier, now in the modern Germany. There, the late Latin term glycium originated, probably from a Germanic word for transparent, lustrous, or brilliant substance. Introduction Glass is a material that has solidified from the liquid state without crystallization. Glass is an amorphous non-crystalline substance having a homogeneous structure glass is made by the fusion of mixture of silica basic oxides and few other compounds that react either with the silica or with the basic oxides what are the constituents of glass first one is silica silica is the main constituent of a glass high temperature required if fused alone it's mean that high temperature will be required if you want to fuse silica alone sodium or potassium carbonate reduces melting point of silica as we know that silica requires a high temperature if you want to melt silica and if we add sodium or potassium carbonate it reduces the melting point of silica sodium or potassium imparts viscosity to the molten glass the third constituent is lime or lead oxide and the purpose of lime or lead oxide that is makes glass bright and shining coloring agent to correct the color of the glass due to the presence of iron in a raw materials of a glass color it broken glass to provide body to the glass being prepared so these are the main constituents of a glass which are silica sodium or potassium carbonate lime or lead oxide and different coloring agents are added to impart color to the glass and broken pieces of glass are provided to the glass being prepared general properties of glass first one is solid and hard material second one disordered and amorphous structure fragile and easily breakable into sharp pieces transparent to visible light inert and biologically inactive material glass is 100% recyclable and one of the safest packaging materials due to its composition and properties glass is used for architecture applications illumination electrical transmission instruments for scientific research optical instruments domestic tools and even textiles glass does not deteriorate corrode stain or fade and therefore is one of the safest packaging materials these properties can be modified and changed by adding other compounds or heat treatment manufacture of glass glass is made from its raw materials in carefully controlled two-step process and it is then molded to either sheet glass or bottles the mix of raw material is dependent on the type of the glass desired now glass is classified based on composition of different 
raw materials first one window glass is made from 72% of silica that is sio2 13% that is sodium carbonate and 12% 12% calcium carbonate crystal is made from 45% of silica sio2 45 44% of lead oxide and 9% of potassium carbonate pyrex that is used for laboratory equipment and ovenware because of its heat resistance in pyrex 80% silica is used barium carbonate is used classification based on composition the remainder in each of these mixtures it made up to the various minors minors improve properties of the glass for example alumina al2o3 it improves chemical resistance and increases viscosity in lower temperature ranges lead that is pbo lead oxide gives brilliance to the glass now how glass is manufactured as i mentioned in my previous slide that it is the two step process first one mixing ingredients glass is made of different ingredients as on the previous slide glass consist of all the majors mixed with small quantities of some of the minors minors are carefully weighed and added to the majors with a little water water is necessary as in a very dry mix the fines can blow off the batch and it enters the furnace the batch that is of the quantity 1 to 2 tons is then mixed for 2 to 3 minutes in a rotary mixer for where it is from where it is slowly fed into a furnace the color of glass is achieved through various additives added to the mix the second step is batch melting the ingredients mixture is fed into the furnace fired by the natural gas the glass is initially heated to 1400 degree centigrade then raised to 1540 degree centigrade at which the mixture melts the glass is then held above 1400 degree centigrade while it is refined and co2 that is carbon dioxide and so3 are evolved the liquid is now ready to be shaped into desired end product the th third process in manufacturing of glass is shaping glass plates the molten glass from the furnace is cooled to 1000 degree centigrade the molten mixture is drawn on an iron grill a roller is rolled on the molten mix and the glass is shaped thin glass sheets molding glass containers the molten mixture is fed into a forming machine where amounts of glass is separated out the weighed glass mixtures are molded in sections The glass bottles thus formed are coated with a shiny spray on coating that protects them from becoming scratched. Finally, the glass bottles are packed for delivery to clients. There are different types of glass. Bulletproof glass. The glass is made of several layers of plate glass and alternate layers consist of vinyl resin plastic. The thickness of the glass varies from 15 mm to 75 mm or even more. This glass does not allow bullet to pierce through it. This glass is extensively used for cashier booths, jewelry stores and display cases. The second type of special type of glass is structural glass. Structural glass is available in the form of square blocks and tiles. structural glass is hollow light and transparent structural glass can be sawn placed and drilled like woodwork in spite of having general properties of glass insulating glass insulating glass is transparent glass composed of two or more plates separated by 6 to 13 mm of dehydrated captive air Insulating glass provides high resistance to heat flow. 
Insulating glass keeps the apartment cool in summer and warm in winter. Foam glass is prepared from powdered glass to which carbon is added which makes the mass porous and light in weight. Foam glass is used for sound and heat insulating purposes. Foam glass is recommended for use in air conditioning of buildings. Glass fiber The usual composition of glass fiber is that of soda lime glass. The glass fibers are made by letting the molten glass drop through tiny orifices and blowing with air or stream to attenuate the fibers. They have very high tensile strengths. Now coming to the uses of glasses, there are some advantages and disadvantages of a glass. Use of glass in construction work adds beauty to the building. Its use fulfills the architectural view for external decoration. By using glass in interior, it saves the space inside the building. Glass cladding in building fulfill functional requirements of lightning, heat retention and energy saving. Its use appear a sense of openness and harmonious. A stuffed glass is available, one can have good interior design with the use of glass in transparent staircase, colored shelves and ceilings etc. Glass is an excellent material for thermal insulation, waterproofing and energy conservation. Glass is bad conductor of heat, it saves energy in air conditioning of building. For making glass partitioning on upper floors, no extra design is required for slab as glass is light in weight. Disadvantages As glass is very costly material, it may increase the budgeted cost of construction work. Use of glass also enhances the cost of security. Its use in hilly area and desert may cause more maintenance cost. Glass is also unsafe for earthquake proven area. That's all for today. In the end, you are again requested. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates.